Hey, what's going on everyone? Thanks for checking out another video. And if you are new, welcome to the channel. I put out new English lessons every single week. I've been getting a lot more requests for idioms and phrasal verbs. So for today, I have 10 more really common phrasal verbs for you. These are used by native speakers all the time. And today I'm going to explain what they mean and give you some example sentences so you can understand these phrasal verbs and use them correctly in your speaking and in your writing. Let's get started. So this is actually my third video about phrasal verbs. If you haven't watched the first two, maybe you can do that and then come back and watch this one. In each video, I cover 10 super common phrasal verbs. So these are all verbs and many of them are separated by another word or require another word after the phrasal verb. So you need to give more information in your sentence. I will explain what I mean with each example. So first, give up. This phrasal verb means to quit or surrender or to admit that you can't do something. So this is to quit because it is too difficult and uncomfortable. For example, this math problem is way too difficult. I give up. Next, to give something away. This means to give something to someone for free. They don't have to pay any money. The hair salon by my house is giving away free shampoo bottles with every haircut. So if you get a haircut, they will also give you a free bottle of shampoo. To go out with a person, this is to date or go on a date with someone. For example, I wish Jessica would go out with me. She's so pretty. Or I am going out with Jessica this Saturday. So this would be romantic. This is not hanging out with a friend. This would be someone that you're interested in having a relationship with. To ask someone out, this is to ask a person to go out with you. James finally asked Jamie out yesterday. So the someone, that is the person that you're asking to go out with you. Next, to grow up. This means to become more mature and to become like an adult. I saw my nephew for the first time in five years today. I was amazed how much he grew up. So this is not about size. If something gets bigger, you would just say grow. But if you say grow up, that's more about something's age and its attitude. So if a person grows up, they become like an adult and they act like an adult. Next, hang on. This is like saying to wait just for a moment. For example, if you're talking to someone and you're about to leave, you can say, hang on, I have to put on my shoes before we leave. Hold on is pretty much the exact same thing. If someone says, hold on, I have to put my shoes on, that's like saying, please wait for just a moment, I'll put my shoes on and then we will leave. To hang on to something, this means to keep or to save something. I've been hanging on to this bottle of wine for 12 years. That's like I've been keeping and saving this bottle of wine for 12 years. Next, to hang up, that means to end a phone call. So, Bob, we're already running late. Can you please hang up the phone so we can leave? 
Can you please end the phone call? And to hang out, this means to spend time with someone casually or socially. So this is not about work or a meeting or an appointment. This is spending time with friends and people that you want to be around in your free time. So a common question, want to hang out this weekend? Or I usually hang out with my roommate on the weekends. So if you add the person, you can add the word with. Okay, thank you so much for checking out the video, guys. If you have any questions, you can drop them below. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button, you should definitely do it because I put out new lessons every week to help you become a better, more confident English speaker. Keep studying hard, guys. I'll see you in the next video.